Well, good morning, everyone out in YouTube land. It's the Snowbird Gardener. I've got my pumpkin here. Happy Thanksgiving to all you peoples out there and all those good things where we get to wear orange and we get to make pumpkin pie. No, I didn't grow this, but I did grow a little tiny one in, in Arizona this year, but I'm going to make some pumpkin pie on this one. What do you think of that? There's so many recipes online that you can use. Yeah. Also, there's a pumpkin cheesecake you can make, pumpkin soup, oh, all kinds of cool stuff you can make with pumpkins. So I hope you're all having a wonderful start of the holiday season. This is the most wonderful time of the year. We get to give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Do you know that he knew us from before the foundation of the world? Yeah. It says that he knit us together in our mother's womb, and he knew us then. <laughs> How wonderful. Oops. One of the dogs just pushed on the tripod. I like this tripod. This is good. I can hold it a lot. A lot. My, my pictures are a lot more still than when I hold it with my hand. So, I'm going to show you around, see what else is going on here in the winter garden. And um, I hope you enjoy <laughs> that weird face was because I, I almost just dropped the pumpkin. <laughs> well, the golf course is looking green and beautiful. About this time every year, they put fertilizer on there. Plus, we've had some rain. So it makes it so nice and green. I've got this beautiful, long-needled pine tree here on the corner of the house. It is so beautiful. We had it trimmed a few years ago. And it's just been a wonderful addition to the, to the property. Look at those long needles. There's the Choya cactus that earlier in the season had beautiful yellow flowers. I think I showed them to you. Yeah, Choya cactus. And in the foreground you can see one of the little junipers planted last year. Here's the other one. And here's the third one, kind of in the shadow. Here you can see the orange tree that we planted this year. And back to the beautiful golf course. Do you know that when you look at blue and green, that's just the colors of blue and green, it's good for your soul. Yeah, really. They've done tests on it. It's the green grass and the blue sky. Good for your soul. I've had some interesting birds around this fall that I haven't heard before. One of which is the cedar waxwing. Oh, it's really cute. It's kind of olive colored and it has a little peak on its head. I've seen a tree absolutely full of them. Just chittering, chattering and eating. Beautiful. Another one I've had this year that I haven't had before was the gray flycatcher. Gray flycatcher. Yeah. I've had the ash-throated flycatcher, but this is the first time for the gray. Another of the interesting birds different that I've had this fall was the uh, thrasher. The contus thrasher. That's a new one. And I've had two different kinds of warblers. One is the yellow rumped warbler, and the other one is the Wilson's warbler. I think in times past, if I remember correctly, they were considered one species, and now they're considered two species. I've also, I've also identified two different Phoebes we have in the area. One is called the Black Phoebe. And one is called Say's Phoebe. 
Pretty little birds. Nice songs. Can you hear some birds? There's that blue sky. Just loving it. Wow, the sky from this direction looks exceptionally blue. Let's take a look at the buckets. Broccoli are looking really good. In fact, they've gotten so big, so wide, that I have taken the lace coverings off of them. A couple more of the broccoli have gotten so wide that the lace is inhibiting them. So I took those off also. The strawberries in little pots are hanging out in the greenhouse today. But I've got the front pulled up. See how you can pull that up and tie it? Hopefully they don't get too hot. Here's the size of the cauliflower so far. Can you hear that bird? That's the acorn woodpecker. Well, thank you for hanging out with me in the winter garden on this beautiful Thanksgiving week. I just pray for you that you'll have a blessed week and that you'll have many things to be thankful for as you think back over the years. Every year when my kids were little, we would always make a list on Thanksgiving of the things that the kids were thankful for. And it was so fun to read them every year. <laughs> so when, like when they were in high school, Oh, when you were in third grade, you were thankful for whatever. And the kids always got a kick out of that. I saved the list year after year. We have so much to be thankful for. Every breath in our lungs, every beat of our heart, every cell in our body. God loves us so much to let us live on his beautiful planet. So I'll see you again next time. Adios. Mwah. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.